gotta call taste. for it if you got it. Ain't no stopping on the boat. Gotta call for it if you got it. Doing like good in the show. Gotta call for it if you got it. Ain't no stopping on the boat. Gotta call for it if you got it. Doing like good in the show. Inside the show with your host, Justin Allegri. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting in the AL West, the Oakland Athletics knocked out 10 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 5-4. They now have five straight wins. The Houston Astros launched seven home runs in this one as they took down the Red Sox on the road 17-3. Julio Tehran got the W and now has five this year as the Tigers took care of the Mariners 2-0. Mike Trout was a major force at the plate with six RBIs as the Angels pushed past the Royals 20-1. to He is currently in the top five in the American League in slugging percentage. Anthony DiSclefani was victorious for the fifth time this season as the Giants corralled the Rangers 6-3. Randy Arozarena plated five on the day with two big flies as the Rays downed the Nationals 6-5. As of today, he is the RBI leader in the American League. The New York Mets hit three long balls as they beat the O's in Baltimore 9-6. The Toronto Blue Jays launched three home runs as they beat the White Sox on the south side 12-7. The Yankees totaled 13 hits as a team as they defeated the Twins in the Twin Cities 9-5. The Rockies swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they manhandled the Marlins 12-1. The Phillies held their opponent to just two hits as they took down the visiting Braves 3-0. The Reds allowed only five hits as a staff as they got the best of the Brewers at home 2-0. The Los Angeles Dodgers went deep four times as they defeated the Pirates at PNC Park 11-7. The Cleveland Indians had 12 hits as a team as they beat the Cardinals on the road 4-1. The win was their fifth straight as a team. The San Diego Padres knocked out 12 hits as a team as they nabbed the win against the visiting Cubs 6-5. And that'll do it for today. Enjoy the games and we'll talk to you tomorrow. From the home of the A's since 1968, it's baseball at the Oakland Coliseum. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Oakland A's. The Athletics have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Chris Bassett, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs Arizona. to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this 10. point, and it'll be Le interesting Castro. to see if he can turn it around in this one. Now here's the first offering. Tim LoCastro is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Ah, oh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. Nope. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. The 1-2. 
is swung on and missed. He got him. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't that seen exactly. it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets Nick. the string pulled oh, on man. him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate now, Nick Ahmed. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 261, the average coming into action here. Three homers and 19 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0 2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And there's out number two. That is third. The left hand, David Peralta. Digging in next, David Peralta. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Lifted the other way down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That oh, misses. Sorry, it's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Rwanda Olson will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. And now the A's offense gets its first shot here. No score. Merrill Kelly will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Elvis Andrews is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year at some point you're going to have to take seven out of ten eight out of ten second. to get this going the in the right man. direction Tony. Yeah. so one out and nobody aboard and striding toward the plate to hit next tony kemp first offering on its way this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Count is one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. It 
And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. The third right there, he goes down Matt. on strikes, but he Jeff really man. made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. Chapman swings, and this one's hit very well out to left. Into the concrete staircases and gone. So a solo shot down the line in left. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb at the bottom of the first. Batting four. That'll bring up the power the hitter, baseman. Matt Olson. Matt. And on the first pitch, Olson. he grounds foul. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The wind up and the 0 1. No. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. The A's strike for one on the solo homer. We'll head to the top of the second, and Oakland has claimed the early 1-0 lead. Ready now is Cattell Marte. He comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. What a terrific month this guy had last month, hitting over 350. If he can continue at this pace, he's got a legitimate shot to win a batting title. First pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't that get an out on the play. The first baseman, Christian Walker. At the plate, Christian Walker hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting six. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo. And Escobar. now in the box, Eduardo Escobar. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's two for four. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. Now the 0-1. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Marte stands at first with one out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Cole Calhoun will stand in now as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. They'll start things here at 316. Nine homers and the RBI count at 35. The 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. A runner on first with two away. Two and two, the count to Cole Calhoun. Swing and a little tapper. Left side, but well foul. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Arizona. They trail this one, one to nothing. Yeah. Now it'll be Ramon Laureano Athletic. set to lead off the, the home half group. of the second. Number 22. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Kelly features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. That misses, and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Three and two to the A's center fielder. The three two pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to that start this sick. inning when you're looking the to pad the lead. Hitter. Could be the Mark. beginning of good things here in this Canada. half inning. So now it's Mark Canna. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for two. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Batting seven. The left fielder. Yeah. Next up for the A's, Chet Hinder. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Now here's the first offering. On the ground is short. This could be two to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. 
Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 1 0. Oh. Loriano on third with two out. Down low, and the clock thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. He set the three zero -oh offering, and he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four pitch walk here. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks at Batting bunches, up. and that's already the two catcher. walks here in the early going. Gone. We'll see if this continues to be an issue Murphy. for him as this start continues. And now Sean Murphy for his career in this matchup. Small sample, a perfect one for one. to hang a zero here's the pitch and he throws the fastball by him here 0 and 1 after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here nice job of jumping ahead with strike one runners on first and third two away and he misses with it one and one hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one the execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The set and the 1-1. One, one. A pie, 2-1 and one now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Hit out towards second. Right to him. On to first. And the A's fail to cash in here as the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Top of the third set to get underway. And digging in is the veteran DH as Dribble Cabrera. And now the first pitch. And he commits to the pitch inside, and he All definitely went around that strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Tried to fool him with the changeup but he won't offer at it three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So one gone in the inning now and it's time for a look at the standings in the AL West. You just see where the A's find themselves entering play here today. Up next Stephen Vogt and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. 
hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball, that's too high. The 1 0 home. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. A two ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. Outside and a full count, three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And that one yanked just foul. Another full count pitch home. Lifted down the line and left. But it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now that Stepping in once again is Tim yeah. LoCastro. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball, that's up there. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Let's we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Stepping up is Nick Ahmed, grounded out in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. Steal. There he goes. In there. Now the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Castro stands at second with two gone. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One left for the Diamondbacks. They still trail 1-0. The Athletics due to hit here in the third. They're looking to get some momentum going with the bats. This is a group that has had trouble doing so all season long. Case in point, they currently rank last in the league in team batting average and on base percentage. On that note, one of the hitters told me, I'd be lying if I told you it isn't frustrating for everyone. We're all really competitive guys in that clubhouse, so to be where we are is probably keeping some guys up at night. Sounds like a group looking for answers, Matt. All right, thanks, Heidi. The Athletic. Bottom of the inning style. now. And Elvis. coming forward now is the shortstop, Andrew. Elvis Andrews. First pitch on the way. 
lifted down the line in left. After it is Peralta. But no one gets to this one as it lands in the home bullpen. A foul ball. The windup and the 0 1. Fouled away. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. To right, two balls and two strikes two. now. The 2 2. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. And another foul ball. Set to deal on two and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the no inside Number corner five. any better than that. Second base As a hitter, there's Tony. just not a whole lot you can do with that unless yeah. you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Into the box, Tony Kemp. As he sends it on the ground to first, he's right there and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The bat. Two down, no one on base. And up Matt. next, the power hitting third Chapman. baseman, Matt Chapman. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. That evens it up, one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the A's. But they're on top one to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be David Peralta. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. David. First offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Loriano is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first down. Had a long way to go to make that running catch, and here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it, showed nice closing speed, and ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. In now, Cattell Marte. Let's still watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Fly ball right down the line and left. They'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. So now here is Christian Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Very weakly on the ground. Another one sent foul. Two out, nobody on. Yeah. 
Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. A reach as he makes the catch, and he took a header along with it, but he saved extra bases as the side is retired. A final look at this tumbling catch out there in right field. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth, but before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Yeah, and digging in is the big-time big power game. threat, Matt yeah. Olson. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. One ball and two strikes to count. Here comes the one, two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. 11 home runs and 33 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Laureano is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He was a 16th round selection during the 2014 draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Popped up. Vote is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now, now to the back. plate, Mark Canna. Mark Canna. Here's the first pitch to him. Well behind oh, that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Fastball just inside. The 1-1. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Over to first, and that retires the side. A's are gone in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Good the stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Eduardo Escobar. First offering. Eduardo Escobar is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Escobar, a five foot ten inch switch hitter. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Two and one after the foul ball there. Into the windup and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Again.
again another foul ball. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. Now he was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls Four. off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Into the box now, Cole Calhoun. Yeah. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He breaks off a beauty there. Nothing in two now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 0 2 home. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike if you get it well hey that's great but if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Here comes the 1 2. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A bouncer to the left side, and a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his Up hit streak to, to nine games, and you know he hit. wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. As Drubal Cabrera will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low, it's a ball and no strikes. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Runner. Runners going. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. As Dribble Cabrera ahead in a three and one count now. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. He nope. loses him on ball four. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third, not enough to qualify for the victory, as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the Ladies lead. Mike Fires takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only Number one away. 50. Mike Fires. Stephen Vogt will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the belt, the pitch.
Fastball laid off well below the knees. Calhoun over at second. Cabrera is over at first with one away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not, Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, yeah. like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. To the plate now, Tim LoCastro as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Trying to hold the lead here's the delivery. Well, that's not the place. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. The set and the 2 and 0. 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. The three and one pitch, and he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So stepping in is Nick Ahmed trying to bring in the tying run from third here. First offering. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Ready with the 0 and 1. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Owen oh 2 here it is fouled off lucky he got a piece right there he was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch waved at and missed for the third out not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over diamondbacks leave them loaded they're on the short end of a one to nothing score Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging Leading in off. is the Will outfielder, a. Chad Pinder. The left fielder, Chad Pinder. First pitch on the way. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and 2-0 oh. the count to the A's left fielder. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A 
solo shot here to left. Home run number nine on the year. And Oakland has moved out in front here two to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Outfielder Steven Piscotti right the fielder. next to hit. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The wind up and the 0 1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. And this one is gone, a home run. It's a solo shot here for Steven Piscotti. Third home run for him on the year, and the A's lead it now three to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. The catcher. The swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now back. The shortstop, Elvis. Back to the top of the order Andrew. now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here it comes now to Andrus. This is flared out towards second. And this is taken for the out. No so two Number out, nobody five. on. Second and striding baseman. toward the plate to hit Tony. next, Tony Kemp. Yeah. First offering on its way. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the oh. inning. You got a 1-0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. 2-0 count, the pitch. Hey. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he is in to third with a two out triple. Anytime the ball is hit that hard to now deep that. center, you know it's going baseman. to be a tough play. Matt. The center fielder gives chase, Just but man. it ends up coming off the wall, and by that time, you knew it was going to be a triple. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Kemp at third with two away. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. And that's over two and one. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both the lefty and a righty up to throw.
All even now, two and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the A's three, and the Diamondbacks nothing. At the plate now is David Peralta. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Offense Peralta. needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. That's to the left hand foul. One ball, one strike. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. Stepping in now, Cattell Marte batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. No one out with a runner at second. Late making contact on that swing and we'll do it again on one and two. He pulls this one into right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's safe. Now to the play. Oh, here is diamond. Christian Walker. The no hits baseman. to this point. Christian Walker. He's set and the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. A man at third with one away. Slider and that's in there for strike two. This is where as a batter you got to find a way to put something in the outfield get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect but if anything is belt or above you got to swing. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the whole complexion now of the batting. inning. He was third definitely base. pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. As a look, now the pitch. A 
men on third with two down. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Fires pauses. Here's the 1 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Well, the tying run looms on deck, so keeping this guy off the base is essential. In danger of walking him right here, though. The 3 2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Arizona. They trail in this one 3 0. Alex Young enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 49, Alex Young. Digging in will be Matt Olson. Lifetime versus this arm. Go. He's one for two. The first baseman, Matt Olson. First pitch on the way. Young has over 40 innings on his line so far and sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The one one. Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The one two is That's looked at for ball number two. <laughs> and he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. That's now the back. third time in this Number game he's two. gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Standing in now, Ramon Laureano. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. The 1 0 home. And it's fouled away. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One out, nobody on. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Got him reaching there. Strike two. 
Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peralta is under it. Two gone. into the box. Mark Canna, he was retired hitter. via the ground Mark. ball last time up. Canna. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The ball cutter runs out. outside. Ball one. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. But they lead it three nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in is the veteran line. outfielder Cole the Calhoun. Right Cole Calhoun. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Lifted down the line and left. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Man that swing looked like self defense now than a real quality swing but hey he muscled it out there and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Here now is his dribble Cabrera as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and oh. It was a walk in his last trip. Two and zero oh to the Diamondbacks DH. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. A look now the pitch and this misses here for ball four just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now that he is Mara Petit comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Number 36. Hughes Barrow. Next to stand in is Stephen Vogt, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch on its way. Oh. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Swinging a blooper to the right side. In comes Piscotti, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now batting, second baseman, Tim 
Lecastro. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tim LaCastro. A couple of walks for him thus far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. There's one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. So we've got runners at the corners here. One away. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Now the first pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Back on it is the left fielder at the track. The wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Fourth home run for him on the season as they take the lead four to three. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Lou Trevino will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 62. Lou. Now back, left fielder, David. Into the box, David Peralta. Popped foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0-1 pitch. In there, strike two. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left-hander and a righty that start to loosen up. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Popped him up. Chapman has room in foul territory, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cattell Marte. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. You know, because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The one and no delivery. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. The one one makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. Get up and stretch, home half of the seventh coming up. It's now 4-3 Arizona. And that brings up Chad Pinder. Leading off. Four yeah, man, going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that yeah. was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking trying to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. 
It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now that left is bad. I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Chris Stavinsky takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. In now, Stephen Piscotti. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. He's working on bringing home the tying run standing at second base. The 0-1. Ball yep, one. No contact there, and it's one and two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the heart of those 17 inches. Pinder stands at second with no outs. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Good pitch there on 0 and 2, breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And a nice running catch here down the line as the runner tags from second. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Striding in is Sean Murphy. The potential tying run for him at third base. First pitch on its way. Hit back toward the mound. And this is a base hit as the runner will trot home from third. And the swing and A's have tied up the ball game. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. So Elvis Andres the next to bat as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes now to Andrus. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2-0 home it is swung on and missed strike one. Skied into straightaway right. Calhoun is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next, it'll be no Tony batter. Kemp. Double He's ball. working on a one Second for three man. thus far. Tony. Yeah. He's set. Here it comes. Fouled away. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Vote gathers. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over.
But the tying run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. Your attention, please. Now, New pitcher set to take up. over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Sergio Romo. Ready to begin the eighth, and set to go is the veteran first baseman Christian Walker. Walker. Now the pitch. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. <laughs> 0 and 1, here it comes. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Ballman, two strikes. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. Here comes the one two. Is laid off for ball two. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Escobar standing in. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and now he's back. at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, I know, Matty. It's been a really nice run for him, and hey, it's not over yet. You know he's as motivated as anybody to make something happen right here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. The 1 2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Now another 1 2. Pulled toward right center field. Loriano is there and he has it for the out. Up next to the Diamondbacks. So next to right bat will be Cole Calhoun. Oh, one Calhoun. run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Behind 0-2 now. Hits are even at seven apiece. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone.
A solo shot down the line in right. Number 10 for him on the year. And it's now 6-4. Well, that's the sixth home run we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Rose, is I prefer to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Digging in, the switch hitter has dribbled Cabrera. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Well-thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Now a ball lined hard toward right center, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. And now here is Stephen Vogt. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Now the first pitch. Hey. And a fastball is in there for strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 0 1 pitch. Ball one. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. And he's keeping it down here and that's a cold strike two. Two out nobody on. into the corner and slicing foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one oh. two. Wow that was a close pitch on one and two. The counts now on two and two but boy that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And now a pitch on the way. Struck him out so he set down on strikes for the second time today. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. D-backs out in front, 6-4. to four. Tyler Clipper is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Tyler Clipper. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping in the, the long baseman, ball threat, Matt, Matt Chapman. Chapman. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ball oh, one. Now right. action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The 1-0. Is taken for ball two. Two balls and a strike. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. This one's down to third. Scooped up. On to first. And a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out the home eight. The first baseman. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. 
in past history against Tyler Clifford. He's one for four. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty, one man out. And there's ball one. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Bases are empty here with two men out. One ball, one strike. Two balls nope. and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The 2 1 home is taken, oh, ball three. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. We played eight full. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Athletics four. Your Jake Deepman enters from the pen now, to start the ninth eight. inning as he'll try to keep the Number score three, right five. where it is heading to the Jake. bottom of the ninth. Deepman. Set to start the ninth in this one. Go and set to go is the second baseman, the second baseman. Tim LaCastro. Tim LaCastro. And the pitch. And we kick off the ninth oh, inning with a swinging down. strike here. Nothing in one. Now the 0 1. Hey! Lays off that time and it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Hard sinker misses two and two. Fly ball to straight away left. Kinder settles under it and there's one gone. Nick Ahmed will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts, let's take you back to inning number seven and a big blow here as his three-run home run accounted for perhaps the biggest blow of the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One out, nobody on. Oh. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home. Hot shot to third. Throw gets him. Two down. 
now batting. And the stepping left. in, David Peralta. David. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hey, this guy has come in and just done his job. Period, the end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. From the stretch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. The 0 1 pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Peralta is off of first with two away. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And this is popped up back behind second. Andres is there and the side is retired. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Nothing for the Diamondbacks in their half of the ninth. Last chance now for the A's. They trail it by two. Ladies Joaquin Soria takes the ball now in inning number nine, now looking to close the, the door. Number 48, Joaquin Soria. Now at the plate, Mark Canna. Leading off for the A's, the designated hitter, Mark Canna. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Time run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here one away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top the of the ninth leader. as Number we take four. a look at league saves yeah. leaders entering play. And Pinter. as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in next, Chad Pinder. He's two for three with a home run and a double. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit towards center. Marte is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Now batting right fielder. Steven Piscotti. So here is Steven Piscotti and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth.
Now here's the first offering. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. Last strike now for Oakland. them down to their final strike. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. There is Ahmed. Throw in time for the final out and the Diamondbacks will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Six to four the outcome today. Arizona put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Chris Davinsky gets the win in relief his second of the year. Joaquin Soria hammers down the save his 17th on the year. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Athletics, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.